A notice taped to mailboxes in one neighborhood in Fort Wayne is causing concern. Someone is offering to paint house numbers on curbs, but the way that person is soliciting money has left police, the Better Business Bureau, and the people in the neighborhood raising red flags. In a 15 Finds Out report, Adam Widener joins us live on the city's southwest side with details. Adam, what'd you find? Well, folks living here in the Waterside Woods neighborhood near Covington Road received notices like this taped to their mailboxes yesterday. Uh, that notice told them to put a $20 to $25 payment on their front door, and they had to put that payment there because a crew was going to be coming here and taking their house number and painting it on the curb. But it's that tactic that's left officials saying that if you receive a notice like this, beware. It's just a concern. Tom Antisdale is the president of the Waterside Housing Association. When he saw all the notices on mailboxes, he urged residents to do some checking before handing out money. It was extremely unusual because the piece of paper was obviously kind of hand torn. It wasn't really professional. You didn't have an invoice or anything. It had a regular envelope to it. It was taped to the mailbox. It just seemed really out of character. And I think common sense prevails. Something like that. This is just not not kosher. Whoever wrote the flyer says painting white house numbers with a black background on curbs is recommended by the city for crime prevention. Fort Wayne police agree, but officers discourage people from paying up front with money taped in an envelope on your door. The property manager at Waterside Woods says members of a group doing the same service have received several complaints in Northeast Allen County because of their aggressive tactics. He even threatened the group that he would call police. It's unclear who's behind the notice. The only information we have is that checks should be made payable to someone named Locke. It just does not add up. Marjorie Stevens is the president of the Northern Indiana BBB. She encourages people not to give their money to solicitors like this. A check made out to one person, one name, uh, it just does not add up at all. In Fort Wayne, Adam Widener, News Channel 15.